Today we are making teeny, teeny, tiny Ferrero Rocher. I am murdering that name, aren't I? That's okay, you guys can laugh at me, I don't mind. My daughter loves to eat these things. I think they taste awful, but apparently she and her grandmother, on her father's side, think they are tasty for some reason. Weird taste buds, that's all I have to say. Anyway, but they are really super cute, and I'm going to show you how to make them in miniature. So, and they're even sealed in plastic and everything. Ooh, go plastic wrap. So, here we go. You take your little, I have a little piece of wood. Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby. Everybody wants to know, Hobby Lobby. I had some foam that I cut out, and you don't have to do it exactly like this, and you can't see what I'm doing. It's too dark. So here, have a piece of paper. There, now you can see them. See the shape on those little puppies? Oh, come here, camera. I have my spider monkey tripod on here. I love it. Um, where are you? I have, with my little sheet of foam, I have a, um, little paper cutter thing. What's this called, Catherine? Um. Oh, a hole punch. <laughs> I have a hole punch that goes out, cuts it out in the shape of like little bitty flowers. And so I've cut out a bunch of brown foam because they're on little brown pieces of paper. And it looks pretty good. So, put that back. I've cut these out in advance. Here's my little chunk of wood. I have my triple thick gla uh, glaze. Triple thick! By Deco Art. And I'm going to be pulling it out using... Ooh, it's stinky. Golly, it stinks. I'm going to be using some of this stuff and putting, using this as glue and it's going to dry completely clear. So that's why I really, really love it. And it makes it rock hard so it never falls off later. I mean, good luck getting that sucker off. And somebody put uh, something they made and they covered with triple thick on a nice jewelry box. So, um, and I guess wherever they live, it's still moist in the air. Unlike here in the winter, there's no moisture. Very little moisture. Anyway, don't put anything with triple thick on nice wood until you are absolutely certain that it's completely dry. So here I have my tweezers, and I'm going to be sticking on my little foam flowers. Can you see that? Oh, get over there. Yeah, darling. Can I use a square cutter thing? Um, what square cutter? It, the metal one that you squeeze out. Well, hold on just one that second. So anyway, let that dry for a little bit and just set it aside. The next part, um, I'll show you. I have saved from a real the real chocolate thingy, the tin that went over the chocolate, and the um, little sticker that's on it, and the sticker is what we're going to put on top, so save the sticker. But you're going to take a little piece of the the gold golden tin foil, not very big at all, just a little piece, gold, gold on one side, silver on the other, and I'm going to use a little bead. Let's see, I'll back it up a little, this is really, really close. Okay. Oh, here we go. Can I have some more purple? That's mine. Okay, so as I was saying, take your little ball, take your tin foil. Remember, it's gold on the back side. Roll up your ball. You're not going to see it at all. Just roll it up, and then I like to roll it like this, so you end up with it being kind of long. Then you find your bottom and fold it onto your bottom. And then squish it into a circle shape as best you can. What are you doing? No, leave the beads alone. No. I just want, I just want to hold it and look at it. Alright. You know. I want to Don't open them. Do not open them. I want to pull it off. So you have your beads, and I made some earlier, um, and you have your little thing here. I'm using my triple thick as a glue and a glaze, and I'm going to 
put it right there on top of the little foam. You could probably use paper instead of brown foam if you don't have foam. It's no big deal. I'm really getting close enough for you. If you don't have paper, then you use foam. Yeah, if you don't have paper, use foam. If you don't have foam, use paper. Yeah. See? If you don't have either, go to the store. And buy some. And buy some. So, because my fingers are gigantic in the mini world, you, you take use, your little guy You can use toilet paper or tissue. Um... Yeah, I don't know about that one. So you stick your little guy on top. Stick your little guy on top. See how I have some silver there? I want to flip that over. Make sure that silver is face down. That would be helpful. Mom, when are you okay. almost done? No, sweetie, I'm not. I'm slow. When are you going to be done? You know old people are slow. Just be patient. Can I do mine after you? Yes. Do we have to get Matthew uh, after you? Oh yeah, yeah, we do need to go pick up Matthew. After you do it, Louis? Yep. Why can't I do mine? It's only two things. Alright, now I'm going to kind of squish these down Can I here. do my two things first? Um, I don't know if we have time before we go get Matthew, but we could do them after we get back. If nothing else. Anyway, take those, let them dry, and um, I'm just going to let this dry for a bit, and um, go pick up Matthew from the bus stop, and then I'll come back later and show you how to do more. Oh, oh. you could always, um, if, if they're not sticking very well, you can add more triple thick to seal them on the better, because the triple thick will dry clear, and um, it'll be a great glue if you need it. It can go over the tops if you want or the sides or whatever. But you don't have to cover it completely. It just acts as a really good glue. Look in the hole. And then you squeeze it. And it's not very hard to do it. It's not very hard. This it and put it on. And that's how you make a grape ornament. A grape Christmas ornament? Yeah. Very nice. Now can we cook it? Yes. Okay, so I'm back again from the bus stop. Those are on there. Pretty good. Yeah, those are nice. Not completely solidly dry, but pretty darn nice. So I have a piece of saran wrap, plastic wrap from the kitchen. And I put it over the top, and I'm just going to wrap it. Let me back up a little. Ooh. Wrap it up tightly. Uh-oh, I'm going to move that one. And my little chocolates are sliding around. So obviously I didn't wait quite long enough. But the sticker's going to go over the center, so I'm not going to be too concerned about that. I am concerned because my plastic is too much, so I'm going to take that and cut that off. And then you're still pulling tight on the top, and you're pulling it around. And then you take the excess plastic and just wrap it off. And rub it down. If you feel the need, you can use a blow dryer to tighten it a little and I have knocked I didn't glue these and I didn't glue them long enough so some of my little balls are my little chocolates are falling off where they're supposed to be stay stay okay well take your time when you're doing it and you know when you're doing it now I have my my wrapping wrapper and I'm taking the one little Thing here um, and putting it right over the center. Just peel it off and stick it right back on there. So then you have another little container of 
Ferrero Rocher thingies. My little chocolate things. And that's all there is to it.